Hey y'all, Rob here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when future videos are out. And this is a review on the Spawn Compendium Volume 1, which contains Spawn issues 1 to 50 with a $59.99 cover price. Basically, you are paying $60 for a soft cover, glued binding, 50 issues of Spawn in order, in one volume, in color, high quality pages in terms of the coloring, in terms of the paper quality is glossy. And, you know, it's first few years, and I still got the solo issues in my comic box collection somewhere in storage right now, but the selling price point for me was because I got it on sale at about 50 bucks. Okay, you could find it a little cheaper online. So for fifty dollars, about and tax, it, and you got fifty issues, which is only a little more than a dollar an issue. You know, there's a whole there's a whole bunch of Spawn collections, hardcovers, etc. And if I had to start off straight up on this review, because I'm always honest with you guys in my reviews of whether I like something or I don't like something, and I hope that's one of the reasons you, you subscribe to this channel, is the honesty in it, okay? And while I don't give star ratings or things like that, I have to mention a uh, grievance I have with this, okay? I have to give it four out of five stars for one reason, which we'll get to. First, I know this glue binding from previous type of books or collections that I've either had and other stuff. Eventually, over the years, the glue binding will wear out. And so the book will probably get floppy. So you'd probably have to take pages up or stuff like that. But that's not really the issue. That would be like 0.20% of a star. The other 0.80% of why I must remove a full star, the 0.80%, if that's 20%, is right here. And I'll show it to you. Even though you get the 50 issues, guess what, guys? They do not provide the covers. And I honestly don't get it. Okay, this is the first issue. They put this black page is what they do. And they say issue one or whatever here in the corner. I would understand if you are publishing this and you are not putting the covers in. But here you have a page meant for the cover and you decide to put this in and not the cover. When you're actually dedicating a page to this, you put the cover in, guys. You've already used this blank page for nothing. And then they have to nick the issues, like say issue one. So they have to nick the corner of the art just a little bit, which wasn't originally there. But, you know, other than that, guys, this book is awesome. Of course, there's going to be a little, some gutter trouble. But again, I don't mind that for the price you're getting this stuff at. But here, perfect example. Okay, issue two on this one, they didn't have a cover space in between. Okay, so it's not 100% perfect. But I'll show you this. You know, and this is a recurring theme. You get the McFarlane art. Kicks ass, looks awesome, right? All the early stuff, but you'll see here. Get to issue three, for example. See? Blank page. This should be the cover for issue three. But instead of giving you the cover for issue three, they give you this. You know, guys, you put issue three cover here so that when they flip the page, they get issue three. And you don't have to nick the art and tell us it's issue three because we would already know. You know, I would get, if, if you just skip this page and you just go right into issue three, fine. You know, no cover. I get it. But if you're going to give me a blank page and you could put the cover here, you know, image guys, Todd and McVolane, put the cover. There is no excuse in today's modern age that you give us a volume, check that out, awesome, right? You give us a volume 
and you have the space for the cover right here issue four you know this and then you have to nick the art and say issue four you know when you're showing us the reader the spot where the cover should actually be and you don't give us the cover then you wasted a page that you could put a cover in you know that's no excuse let's be honest and then you have to nick the corner art which wasn't originally there in the first in the original comics to tell us what issue it is but at least we get the Angela issue here we get the sim issue here we get some of those issues that were banned for many years but we got them in this volume so that's awesome and even though despite the complaint that I've mentioned it is a valid complaint I feel it's totally valid guys that if you have space for the cover okay they didn't put it here and they go right into issue 12 but if you have space for the cover then obviously you should put the cover in because you dedicated a space to it and that's the frustrating thing okay see and they jump right into it and other stuff and the reason also they had to do that stuff with the covers probably is double page spreads because they want to even out the double page spread and you don't want it to screw up like that but it's just so it's so weird that if you have 50 issues it would only cost you about 25 extra pages for the covers because one page is double-sided so that's 50 issues is about 25 pages if you double-sided so it's just so weird and just check this out and so check this out you know it's just a huge volume over a thousand pages it's tough to see because there's no number order in it on most of the pages where you don't know what number you're on which uh because of the art and you know you got greg capullo art which is most of the volume again it's just the paper quality is awesome the coloring it's all high quality okay and it's just a huge volume i mean super thick check this out the spawn commandium I mean, this thing is huge, this volume, full color art, and it's like, if you get this in the $50 price range, as I'm making this review, this book is current, it's still out. And I know I had issues with the cover, as mentioned, but if they make volume two, issues 51 to 100 for, for about 60 bucks, I will buy it. I will buy volume two if it's about... 50 issues and it's about 60 bucks cover price and I get it cheaper with discounts I mean it's awesome there's no extras there's you know just that there's no extras or anything really it's basically no frills I know there's been other spawn volumes hard covers other collections that are better that are more expensive and they have less issues if you want to get the first 50 issues, the Spawn Capandium, I think this is a heck of a deal. I think it's an awesome bargain, personally. And like I said, I will get Volume 2, if they make it, whenever that might be. Hopefully it would be sooner rather than later. Of course, if it's years away, then honestly, I'd probably, I don't know if I'll get it if I have to wait years for it. But if it's, if it's not too long between volumes I would definitely get it okay but again the issue I have with this from being a full five star book out of five would be the point 20 I I take away because the binding will wear out over time on a glue binding book and the other point 80 percent of a point is the lack of covers for 50 issues it would have only cost it, like I said, 25 pages, double-sided pages, right? And hopefully volume two will have the covers, but to be honest, they probably won't. Either way, it's still a good deal, but it's not a perfect deal. So I hope if you check this book out, and I do recommend it, 
that you are informed of what to expect. So let me know what you think. If you like this reviews, this type of information, uh, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Uh, stay safe, my friends.